Hey guys, um, I just want to do a really quick video about this because uh, I may end up tearing it down. Um, this is the Lego Technic Control Center. If I can get it to focus. Uh, this is the version 2. So it does accept uh, an AC adapter input, which is great. And, you know, so I have, uh, I think, two of these now, and then I've got several of the one in Generation 1 units. Um, but I just always thought they were the coolest thing. I remember looking at them in the catalogs and, um, well, I don't know, 20 years later, <laughs> uh, you know, you can pick them up on eBay pretty cheap if you, if you find the right deal. And I wanted to use it in my, in my projects. Um, so what I've done here is just made some very simple kind of, um, almost like mechanical relays if you think about it. Um, you've got these here which are just it's just on and off just a binary switch kind of thing um, you get the clutch gears to, so you don't wear out your motors and it just either leaves the touch sensor depressed or um, or pressed so just like that and then when those are triggered um, I've just got two really quick and dirty um, pneumatic valve, automatic valve switchers, and um, in this case, I'm using it to control a monorail switch track uh, with a pneumatic cylinder. Um, and I probably will do another video on monorail specific kind of stuff. Like these, I actually had to clean and then lubricate to get them to work. Um, to work at all really the ones I got were, were pretty um I guess dirty inside or whatever but they were just very hard to to do even just manually with your hand um and I needed it to be very smooth to be able to do it with um by any automatic means um so this is this is what you can do here A is going to go to uh, the curve section of the switch track you just press A touch sensor valve and then it switches the track and you can just go back and forth like that. And I also have in the back here, this is kind of a, um, a two-way version of the same thing. So on here, you've got up and down. We also have left and right. And what I did was when you press left, it does a touch sensor. Right does the other touch sensor. Um, and I actually did use this on a, uh, a crane that I had. Um, one of the things I like to do um, when I was a kid um, my dad would tell me how they um, did things that worked and how they trained people. The training cabinets were always an interesting topic for me. Um, and so they would have like this automatic process that it would that the ma machine would do and you would have to program it. And it also had a manual mode where you could literally just single step through every function um, through the controls you know, manually. So you could troubleshoot, find problems, make things better that kind of thing um, and I, I like to incorporate that into the things that I build where I eventually will have two of these um, a 9 volt transformer I'm sure and then uh, maybe a few other things that'll be to be able to control everything on the table but also I like that everything on the table will be automatic as well where it has a basically an autopilot where it just runs and runs and runs or you can switch it off and go to manual mode and then um, use something like this or touch sensors or valves or whatever to just to do things manually. Um, I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, one thing you will notice if you know anything about these tracks is that if the train, let's say we sent the train down this way, if it was on its way back, it would push this right there and it would automatically switch the track to make sure you don't have a derailment. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, I'm just going to have to live with that uh, limitation with this pneumatic switcher unless I find a better solution. I just liked the pneumatic. I didn't like running wires all over the place because you can get hose pretty cheap. Um, but then again, I make my own cables anyways. But 
I just I like the pneumatic. I like the look of it and everything. And I'll probably design a better uh, way to attach it. Um, so really, this will just be another challenge, really, just uh, that in the software it has to know where the monorail is and make sure there isn't a derailment by a switch being in the wrong position. Um, that's pretty much it for the rest of the video. I'll just do a quick run through with the monorail so you can see it in, in action and, and see that it works well. On the next trip around, we go to the other side. Also, have the other switch track over there set up the same way. Now, if I were to switch it now, we would have a derailment. But that's fine. Ah, I was too slow. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I. There you go. Know. I guess that's it for this video. Um, if you have any comments, I know there's a million ways I could have done this. Um, using electronics or relays or just there's so many ways to do it but I wanted to keep it 100% pure Lego and that's why I did it this way um, and I'm sure I'll come up with better designs because this is something I like to do to have manual control and I need some kind of way to interface old and new technology so I've got 9 volt motors um, you know to actuate the NXT touch sensors um, I'm sure there's other ways I can do it that are purely Lego and I make um, experiment with that as I go on and build things. Um, I'm still looking for a good solution to automate these. Um, this controls the direction or makes the monorail stop and I want to be able to automate these and I'll probably end up mapping it to here so you know each different direction would correspond to this being set to a certain direction. Um, if you have any ideas for that, um, besides the uh, aftermarket monorail parts, um, such as 4D bricks, um, I'd, I'd like to know if, if you can find any links to that, because I can't find anything so far. Um, so that's it for this video. It's really kind of a work log, maybe a work in progress. I'm not sure what I'm, I'm thinking about doing kind of a GBC layout with, um, with this table. Um, we've got just a monorail loop and a, a couple switches that go down and um, I may end up doing something with it if I don't I might, I, need, might, I need to take it apart right now just so I can have my desk back for a little bit or my table so um, anyways that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time mm -hmm.